twinning cities, Castries, St. Lucia and Point 14, Trinidad and Tobago, completed their twinning agreement on National Day as a symbolic gesture to develop cultural and economic ties. On December 13th at the Castries City Hall, mayors of the two cities signed a Memorandum of Understanding, MOU, for development. One very, very important outcome is the fact that as a council, we place some level of emphasis on music, music development among the young persons. And Point 14 also has a very rich history of music as well as it is considered to be the cultural capital of Trinidad and Tobago. Mayor, you and I are going to be sharing a lot of ideas, cultural ideas, intellectual ideas, and we're able to exchange these ideas for the betterment of both of our countries. And I can tell you, for the 24 hours I've been here in Castries, I've learned a lot. And I told my CEO this morning, we have a lot to give in Castries, and we had a lot to learn from Castries and Lucia. This isn't Castries City's first twinning agreement. The city has held similar ceremonies with Taiwan, Guadeloupe, and Martinique. We twin with the cities, so we become almost like brother and sister. We exchange cultural activities. As a matter of fact, not too long ago, we twinned with a borough in Guadeloupe. And the next thing we knew, we had an ambulance at the port. Isn't that so? Yes. Mayor Clyde Anthony James extended an invitation to council members to visit Point 14. Telling you now, right, the other members of my council will be visiting you on every occasion you have a cultural activity in your country. And we are going to invite members of your council, other members of St. Lucia, to come to Point 14. That is a beacon of culture in Trinidad and Tobago. The mayors of both cities held fruitful discussions to outline areas for closer cooperation, with their prime objective being to forge stronger cultural and economic ties between Point 14 and Castries City. Solaj Alfred, HDS News Force.